Hi and welcome. In this video, we're talking about dimension of a matrix. So with matrices, as we continue to learn more about them, there are a lot of properties we could talk about, but one of the first ones we really want to be able to do is to talk about the dimension of a matrix. So the dimension of a matrix is a description of its size, and specifically it relates to its number of rows and columns. So if we have a matrix here and we give all of the elements an index, so just to keep track of which one is which, we can see that we have n columns here and m rows. So in general, if we have n columns and m rows, the dimension of this matrix is m by n, where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns. So basically, if you're given a matrix and we want to talk about its size, you would report back the number of rows by the number of columns. Let me show you what that looks like. So let's find the dimensions of the following matrices. I'm just going to put three of them up here. The numbers really aren't important that are in the elements. We're just looking at the size, so I don't want to read out all of the numbers. You can take a moment to copy them down if you're taking notes. So if we look at this first matrix, we want to know the number of rows by the number of columns. So I see that we have one, two rows, and then we have one, two, three, four, five columns. So the dimensions of this matrix are two by five. Okay, it's as simple as that. Let's do the next one. This next matrix has three rows and four columns. It is augmented, but we include the augmented part just as normal, so it's part of the size. So we'd say here that this is a three by four matrix, three rows, four columns. Then lastly, this matrix is just a single column. It has five rows and one column, so it's a five by one matrix. The concept itself isn't too complicated, it just does matter that you remember that the rows come first and the columns come second. So we do count down the rows and across the columns and we get our M by N dimensions. Okay, that's a really quick overview about matrix dimensions. That's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.